Working with population, predicting the population future. We were asked to search the internet and go to the Census Bureau and look up our most recent population for our home state. After going to census.gov and searching around the website, I found there was a pull-down menu for each state. Perfect. So, I went to the pull-down menu, clicked the arrow, had the pull-down menu, and then clicked my mouse on Texas. Let's find out what the facts are for Texas. The question asks us to find the population for our home state. My home state estimate for 2014 for Texas is 26,956,958. And then it asks us to look at something else. Search the internet, determine the most recent population. We did that. Good job. And make sure you've got that number. You're going to need it in your calculator too. 26,956,958. Now part B of this question was for you to locate the annual growth rate for your stage. In our chart, that's percent change. But note, our question asks us for annual growth rate. The percent change provided by this census website is actually for four years and three months. Annual means something else. The word annual means one year or 12 months. So we need to figure out 7.2% growth rate in 4.3 years, but how would that be for one year or 12 months, an annual rate? Look at that. Texas is growing twice as fast as the United States. Interesting. So, we're going to solve for rate of change as a proportion. We're going to put the rate of change we know over the time we know times rate of change we don't know over the time. So what this whole formula here ended up being was we knew 0.072 is about 12 months. Okay? And the time was our 12 months. And that was equal to our question of how much rate of change would happen over 12 months. I made a mistake. I apologize. This should be our 51 here. 51 months is, our, is what we had to calculate for our four years and three months. So um, we need to have our 51 here. And to solve this problem, we're going to crisscross and solve for the question mark. So we will take question, um, we will take 0.072 and multiply it times 12, which is this number here. And then we'll take 51 and multiply it by the question mark. All right. And then once we have that, we've got 864 over 51. And we divide both sides by 51. Okay. And obviously, your 51 is going to cancel out here and leave you with 0.864 divided by 51 equals what? And remember, we're trying to find out that rate of change. So we end up with 864 divided by 51. And that answer, when we plug it into our calculator, is 0 0.0169. If we were to multiply this by 100 and move that decimal two places, we would end up with a rate of change of 1.69%.
in one year. So we need to know that. To work with this number, though, we want to stay in decimal format, 0.0169. Okay. So determine the population of your state 10 years from now. Whoa. Previously, our problem suggested that if we had P for our population and 1 plus R raised to the nth power, this should be this right here should be a little n raised to the nth power, okay? So you know how we're, this is actually an exponent. So this parenthesis is multiplied by an exponent. All right, so p is a population of our state now. 26,956,958 is going to go where that P is. And then 1 plus R, R is our annual growth rate that we calculated before in the, in the proportion, and that's going to go here in our R. And N is the number of years we're calculating for, but again, that's an exponent, so we're going to raise that N, that N, to our 10th power right there. So we've got our P of 26,956,958. And we have rate multiplied by our parentheses 1 plus our rate right here, our rate of time, which is 0 0.069. And then we have it to the 10th power. And the power is your um, caret symbol on your calculator. That's the same thing as an exponent. So we've rate, we've multiplied this and raised it all to the tenth power, and that ended up giving us thirty-one million eight hundred seventy-five thousand two hundred thirty-two point seven one hundredths. And we can, since there isn't point seven one hundredths of a person, we can kind of round that off chop that off and end up with our predicted population in 10 years for the state of Texas is 31,875,232. Check off another question. The next part of this asked you to determine how long and in what year, don't let me forget about that, what year, I need to come back and do that, what year I'm going to double emphasize it. There we go. The population in your state may double, assuming a steady annual growth. And here the question introduces logarithms. We will use our formula for population that we had before. P times 1 plus R, so population times parentheses 1 plus R, and R is our rate of time, to the nth power. And remember that N is supposed to be raised. Um, I apologize for that showing that correctly. But this time we need our population to be doubled. So we're going to double our P. And we actually can just double our P by taking our population of our state of Texas, 26,956,958, and multiplying it by 2. And that gives us a doubled population of 53,913,916, okay? So we're going to use both those numbers as we work on our double P formula. So double P equal, or double population equals the population times 1 plus R, the rate of time, raised to the nth power. And we know our P is at 31,875,232. And we know our double P is 63,750,464. What we're going to do now is we're going to work to solve for double P equals P times 1 plus R to the nth, and we plug in our numbers. We've got our double population, which we're going to plug in here. 
we have our original single population and the rate of time didn't change times n. We don't know n. n is going to be our exponent we raise to. We divide both sides by and we end up with this formula of 2 equals parentheses 1 plus the rate of time 0 0.0169 parentheses to the nth power. Again, that's raised to the nth power. And now we're going to determine how long and in what year the population in your state may double in a steady annual growth rate. To do this, we solve for n. And we can actually do this using our calculator and logarithms. Let me walk you through it with the calculator. Okay. Now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by log 0 0.0169 and that gets us n equals log 2 parentheses log parentheses 1 plus 0 0.0169. We're going to use the logarithm function on the calculator and this is how you plug it into the calculator. Okay. I'm going to show you on this next screen. Okay. So log parentheses 2 divided by log parentheses parentheses and here's your 1 plus your rate of time 1 plus r 1.0169 parentheses enter when you do that you're going to get this long 41.36023164 and we can round that up to 41.36 you need to understand that what you were solving was 41.36 years, okay? So when we use logarithms, we were able to solve for n or how many years, and our population of the state of Texas will double in 41.36 years. But what we need to find out is, okay, the population of Texas right now is 31,875,232. If we double that population, it'll be 63,750,464. That will happen in 41.36 years at a growth rate of 1.69%. But what does that mean? Well, right now, the estimate we have is from the year 2014. And they added 41.36 years, right? So, if we bring our decimal down, and we go 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, bring our 0 down, bring our 2 down, in the year 2055, three months into that year, the state of Texas should double its population from 2014. So, just so you know, there she is, the state of Texas, and we just calculated the population by looking at the Census Bureau, we, we doubled the population and then figured out that using the annual growth rate of 1.69%, then in about 41 years, and a couple more months, about three months, 41 years, the population of the state of Texas should double. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.